Today, you're about to learn how to create the best prompts ever. Today, I'm going to give you a secret on how to create the best prompt ever when it comes to basically anything. Today's focus will be AI visuals, AI images, AI videos. But once you see this process, you're going to get some of the best prompts you've ever created. Hey, Eric, so why are you giving away the secret sauce, bro? Because that's exactly what this is all about. I can give you a prompt or I can just show you a few of the methods I have personally used, which ended up giving me and crafting some of the best prompts, but not just prompts, prompt engineering generators that end up creating some of the best images, videos, or anything I've seen. And this whole process, it all starts with the most simplest way. And that's gonna be with one simple question. What is fill in the blank? What is mid journey? What is cling 2.1? Whatever it is, whatever tool you wanna craft or create a prompt for, that is exactly where you're gonna begin. So very quickly, and again, we're gonna do this in real time. If I open up my most recent chats, you could see I have two of them right here. What is mid journey? What is mid journey? If I come over here into this chat, what is Google VO3? Now, one thing to keep in mind. Now, when you're in chat GPT, you're gonna get a completely different result and many different prompts dependent upon what model that you're gonna use. So let me show you this process very quickly, but then we're gonna do it in real time. You're gonna be mesmerized by what we're gonna end up getting. And by the way, you can get this prompt via the link in the description in addition to hundreds of other free prompts. Now you can see the model I used here was O3, where it used advanced reasoning. It takes a lot longer. However, you'll be able to quickly notice the difference. What is mid journey? Now again, we don't really care about what answer it gives us. We're interested in what we're gonna get at the very end. Okay, so scroll down, let it give you all of the information. Now, the thing to keep in mind is sometimes it will give you some very key information like the popular features. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, like I always say, you always want to pay attention to the follow up. Whatever chat GPT asks you could also make a big impact. So I said, okay, cool. Yes, advanced prompt tricks. Let's see what happens here. And it gives me these pretty cool advanced tricks. And again, an example prompt. Okay, now this is gonna be a pretty helpful tip. Raw file illusion, just add this. That is also helpful because like I mentioned before, if we go over into my prompts portal database, now we land on cheat codes and realism, you could see that's exactly what all of these are, those hidden tips and those meta tag tokens. Back over in the chat GPT, that's exactly what these are. Again, we're gonna get more interesting sample prompts that we could try. Now I'll provide some example prompts for each numbered item, okay? So since chat GPT gave me these numbered items, I said, well, this is gonna be a great opportunity to get 10 more prompts. And it did exactly just that. Style lock example, character clone, all all other examples right here, okay? And then that's where it ends. If I come back over here into this chat, I start with the same question, okay? Now, I just said, what is mid journey? And ChatGPT asks me, could you clarify what you'd like to know? So you could see the big difference between the two. And I just said right here, okay, the absolute best prompt that creates the most realistic images. And again, it's gonna come down here, it's gonna research, blah, 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 give me all this information. Then dependent upon what sort of information it gives me, which in this case, it looks like a lot, I think now the perfect question to ask is exactly what I said next. Based on all this, please provide me with the best example prompt for the most realistic image. And it gave me that right there. Now look, now again, it's specifically crafted for mid journey because my actual question to begin with was what is mid journey? Since I liked the prompt that it gave me, I said, okay, now do it for a 24 year old beautiful fashion model. I want the same level of cinematic realism, but now I want it for my subject. There it is now. Here is the big question. Now, based on all your research and knowledge about prompting, please provide me with a meta prompt generator, a prompt that generates prompts over and over again. And I got exactly that. Extreme realism, mid journey, meta prompt. Look at this information. And I noticed it said, okay, it's gonna be for chaos. And so I asked it, what does chaos mean in mid journey? More examples. And then 
a follow-up prompt. And I did the same thing right here with VO3. I asked the same exact question, but here is the important thing that we wanna keep in mind. Now, I won't go ahead and show you everything I did on this one because I wanna show you how to do this in real time. And we're gonna do exactly just that. Now, we're gonna go ahead and open up a brand new chat. And let's go ahead and start with a relatively brand new update and say this, what is Kling 2.1? But now let's open up a separate chat and we're gonna use 03 for advanced reasoning, same exact question, except we'll change it up from Kling 2.1 and we'll go back to VO3. So back to the 4.0 version in what is Kling 2.1, it gives me everything I want, it gives me the details, even provides a YouTube video, hopefully that would be Metrics Mule video one day, okay, and then it stops there. If we go back over here to 03, you can see it does take longer, that's because it's doing deep research and it's thinking. So let's go ahead and add our follow-up question. And so the follow-up question is gonna be this right here, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and paste it in. Now this is an important keyword you wanna use, specifically when it comes to AI video. Because creating AI videos, the prompt is gonna be formulated a little bit different. It's important to mention the camera and the movement at the beginning of your prompt. So for an example, the question you wanna ask right now as the follow-up is gonna be a very important one to get the best sort of prompt for your specific need. In this case, it's going to be for videos right now. And so that is why in the question I said this, when it comes to prompt adherence for Google VO3 and to get the best of what VO3 offers, how should I structure my prompts? Okay, let's go ahead and paste that in and let's ask the same question in 03, but first let's see what 03 gave us. So since this is going to be more of a deeper dive with advanced reasoning, you can see everything we're going to get. We're going to get some good details right here with some core capabilities, workflows and ecosystems, and then how it compares with use cases. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. But notice this. Remember how I always say, always pay attention to the follow-up question instead of directly going into your next instruction. That's because if you ignore questions, you may be missing out on some good creations. And that's exactly what I just noticed right here. So right before I was about to actually enter in my next instruction, I noticed this, look, if you'd like prompt examples or a reusable meta prompt generator for VO3, just let me know and I'll spin one up. Now that is exactly what I was about to say, but a big reason why I think ChatGPT asks that specific question is because over time, the AI is now beginning to learn what I ask. So let's go ahead and say this instead. I said yes, both prompt examples and then the reusable meta prompt generator. Let's go ahead and submit. We'll come back since that takes a little bit longer. Let's now go back to 4.0 and now here it is. Okay, remember my question? To get the absolute best results from Google VO3, your prompt structure must follow a professional level format tailored for cinematic realism motion first design keyword motion first because we're working with ai video below this is the perfect prompt structure to maximize vo3's capabilities and then there we have it advanced technical tokens now again those advanced technical tokens are going to be aka what's called those cheat codes those prompt tokens are going to take your images and video to a whole new level and add a completely insane level of realism now going down we're going to get some bonus tips but look at this remember i always say pay attention to the question would you like me to build a meta prompt generator for vo3 now I'll answer yes, but just in case your chat GPT doesn't ask you that question yet, let me show you what question you would actually need to ask to get exactly what we're looking for. So if you don't get those two questions from chat GPT, or if it doesn't give you example prompts or that prompt generator question, here's all you have to say. Based on all the information you provided me, please provide a detailed example prompt. Then when you're done with that, create me a reusable meta prompt generator that I can use over and over again. It's a prompt that generates prompts for VO3 based on any subject I provide. So again, that is what you would specifically say if you didn't get this question right here, okay? But let's go ahead and now just simply say yes in this chat right down here below. Then you're gonna see how we're able to get so many amazing prompts. Now, there it is right away, that's pretty quick, but let's quickly go back to 03. Remember, 
I set up here, yes, both prompt examples, and then the reusable meta prompt generator. This is using O3. Here we have it. We're going to get all of these amazing example prompts. Now again, and I admit, I probably wouldn't have even thought about these specific tokens to use off the top of my head. So this is going to be great right off the bat. Okay. But now look at this, the copy paste meta prompt generator. There it is right there. Beautiful. Now, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and copy this, open up a new chat, paste it in. Let's see what happens here. Okay thinking we're still in 03 let's go back to 40 and now look at our meta prompt generator for cling 2.1 and it even gives me the example output of what i can expect amazing let's go ahead and copy this one and then start a brand new chat again and this time we'll use 40 right here for our new meta prompt generator for cling 2.1 paste it in, or actually this is for a VO vision. Okay, let's go ahead. There we have it. What's happening in the scene? Who's the subject and what are they doing? All right, let's go with this. Let's go with something that will make a cinematic video. An astronaut lost in an otherworldly interstellar world. Let's see what that comes up with. Back to the 03 one. There is my big prompt, the generator, and it's going to say the same exact thing. Subject and primary action. And I'll go ahead and say two women racing on motorcycles side by side. Tons of prompts we're going to get, and they're all going to be formulated perfect for prompt adherence and details. Okay, but back to this one in 4.0. Now it looks like it says we're off to a great start. Where is the scene taking place? I'll just say surprise me. Now, again, if you had a specific genre, you can just go ahead and type it in. But what I'll do is if I don't really want to focus on all of this... I'll just keep saying surprise me over and over again to ultimately, there we have it, finally get what I'm looking for, surprise me. Now, I like the questions because what if I am specifically looking for something in particular? I'll just, you know, provide those examples. But if I don't want to, surprise me. There we have it. Very cinematic, surprise me with everything and just generate the prompt. All right, maybe it will get the hint. Just go ahead and make the prompt. Let's see if it follows directions. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. That is going to look pretty amazing. Let's go back to 03. It's going to say the same exact thing. I'll go ahead and just wrap it up in one swoop right here. Surprise me with everything. No more questions. Just create the prompt. Okay, there we have it. There is the one from 40. This looks incredible. And now again, remember, a follow-up question. Let me know if you want a version in first person or build a follow-up scene. Amazing question a follow-up scene. That is going to be such a useful thing to remember if you want to craft and build a legit scene and ultimately the full movie. So I'll go ahead and say, yeah, let's get a follow-up scene. Just like that, follow-up scene. All right, beautiful. Let's go back to 03. Remember, I said surprise me. There we have it. Another amazing prompt. But again, follow these instructions. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And again, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. But until then, I'll see you next time.